It was the year 2030 when Elon Musk arrived at a small traditional temple feeling tired and for the second time in his life unsure he had achieved so much in his life, built self-driving taxis, the best robots powered by AI and sent his first team to Mars. But lately, no matter how big the goals he accomplished or how happy his shareholders may seem, he could not reach a satisfaction that seemed to last, one that stayed with him. He walked into the temple and after a few moments of silence he noticed the old monk he wanted to meet. The monk sat quietly and smiled at him. What brings you here, Elon? <sighs> Musk sighed. I've accomplished every goal I've ever set. We are even going to Mars now. But each victory feels empty, somehow fleeting. I thought I was in control, that success would bring me happiness. But now I'm not so sure. Ah, control. The monk smiled. The great illusion. We believe we are masters of our minds and destinies. But in truth, our minds master us. We are in by the images we created, you know? Elon Musk, the successful founder. Elon, the wealthy good guy. Elon, the world savior. They never satisfied you for more than two days in a row, did they? Elon Musk leaned forward. That's right. But then how do I find real fulfillment? By seeing the truth, by understanding every illusion in your life, by realizing all that you are not, so that you may start to see what you've always been. That all these things you've chased, your cars, your fame, your wealth, your children, your adrenaline, your adventures, and even your mission to save the world and make Mars livable, that all of these can never provide lasting contentment because they are built on false foundations. Elon asked, are you saying my work is meaningless then? That I should just give it all up? The monk shoot his head. No. No, not at all. You shouldn't do anything. Understanding is the way to find what you're looking for. Does your work come from a place of ego, of wanting to be seen as important? Or does it arise naturally from your deepest self, without thought of gain? When you create from that pure place, you will be at peace, no matter the outcome. Musk fell silent. I'm not so sure if I have ever created that way. I've always been driven, had something to prove. Maybe that's why it's never enough. That's right, the monk smiled. When you've given up the need anything from your creations or relationship without seeing that as a sacrifice. Let me repeat that. When you have given up the need to get anything without seeing that as a sacrifice, then you can truly give. And in pure giving, without the need for expectations, you will find peace you seek. Musk nodded slowly. This is a lot to absorb. I see now why you call it a different world. It goes against everything I've believed. The path to that other world is not easy, Elon. The mind will resist it with all it has. But if your desire to find understanding in your life is pure, it will take you there. It will never be the same. Musk stood up gently and bowed deeply to the monk. Thank you for showing me the door. I cannot promise I will walk through it today. But now I finally know it's there, ready to be opened at any moment. As he flew home in his private jet, he couldn't help but smile. For the first time in his life, he saw a path to something greater than the fleeting highs of his worldly success. A path to knowing himself and finally finding true contentment. If you want to learn more about this, you may watch this video next. Talk soon. And here's my poem about the essence of this video. It was the year 2030 when Elon Musk stepped out of his jet, flown to a monk he could finally meet. The old monk asked Elon, what brings you here? Musk said, I've reached all of my goals, but I'm not happy. Oh, happiness, the grand illusion. Musk replied, I thought success would make me feel good and in control. Ah, control, just another confusion. Musk asked, so how do I find real peace, I guess? I've chased money, status and excitement, but they don't last, I must confess. The monk said, see the truth, understand the tricks, do not stay blind, know what you are not to find who you really are outside your mind. Give what you want, but don't expect anything in return, for when you do, it is your peace that you burn. Understand who and what you are not, and bliss can be taught, while happiness remains an afterthought.